Hey everybody out there, how we doing today? Welcome back to the stream, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good one. Today we're going to be getting into New World, Amazon's new MMO, still in development. And uh, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the beta. This is the test build beta, so this is the first time anybody's been able to stream it, anybody's been able to talk about it, anybody's been able to do anything around it. So really excited for this, guys. Um, honestly, personally, I got kind of got my fingers crossed for it. You know, I hope this is the, uh, the MMO that we've been looking for for a while. So, uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try and see how it is. Now it still has, uh, I think roughly six to eight months. Hey, Blue Mage, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Now New World still has about six to eight months before release. So it's uh, going to go through a polishing phase and et cetera. It doesn't release until, uh, I think quarter one of 2021, but for now we get to, you know, we get to give it a try, see how it is. And we're starting from the ground up. So if you haven't seen anything about it guys yet, if, uh, you know, if you haven't been able to catch any other streams or everybody's already been level 30, etc., you know, just already power leveled themselves or whatever. Now's the time to see what it's like, uh, from the ground up. Let's give it a try. Okay. Uh, now a friend of ours is playing on the Cove server on Dead Man's Anchor, which looks to be medium population right now. I don't know if like Cove is just your spawn point and it's server Dead Man's Anchor or not. Um, not entirely sure. So, but we're gonna try a uh, Cove Dead Man's Anchor because we have at least one friend over there. Uh, Hoop. So the world is Cove, Dead Man's Anchor. So maybe it, well, I don't know. Okay. So uh, let's give it a try, guys. Play on Cove, Dead Man's Anchor. You can only have one character in the Dead Man's Anchor world group. If you ever want to play on a different Dead Man's Anchor world, you will need to delete your character on Cove and create a new one on a different world. If you have friends playing on other Dead Man's Anchor's worlds, you will not be able to play with them. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Uh, our one friend's already here. And that doesn't mean that we can't play on other servers, just not the Dead Man's Anchors. Woo, that's loud. We'll turn that down a bit. Love games that start by blowing out your ears, guys. That's pretty cool. As fantasy, the nobles, the church, they all knew the truth. Something out there was growing, something terrible. The thread grows once more. The bourgeoisie slumber. Your ship is stocked and your crew assembled. We can pretend no longer. Left unchecked, the veil will surely fall and all will be lost to madness and ruin. This corruption must be stopped. Okay. I mean, odd how quiet it is right now. Sure, that was weird. Ooh. 
God, let me get to, uh, let me get to control the sound and stuff first before character creation. God, this is blowing out my ears. I got it turned down for you guys, but ooh, this is rough. Also, in case you're wondering, we've got a FPS counter in the upper right hand. It's locked at 60 frames per second. So we, uh, because I only play on a 60 hertz uh, monitor. So we'll, uh, that should show us if we have any particular dips or anything as well. All right, body type, uh, male and female, generic. Okay. Uh, well, we're, we'll be going with a guy. Let's play through. Um, okay. Kind of like that face. Uh, we're gonna give him a bit darker skin tone. He's uh he's weather worn guys. You know he's a sailor. He's an explorer, an adventurer, whatever have you. Hairstyle. Don't like the mohawk. I, I I'm actually kind of liking this. Ah, there we go. That's where it's at, right there. We'll go with the fro. These, these must be universal. I got one with a man bun there. I don't, uh, that ain't bad. We got some of these looking like Karens. Uh, hair. Yeah, we, we're going to go... Uh, what's the difference? Oh, shading. Nice. And facial hair. I might be a little bit biased, chat. Yeah, let's go with that. There we are. All right. So here's our dude. Uh, we can't adjust the eye color or anything. Very basic, uh, very basic character creation. Maybe it'll expand in the future. Looks pretty cool. So, hopefully uh, it'll get improved down the road. That's probably not good. Okay, that's, yeah. It's definitely not good. Hey, that, that's that's kind of a cool way to get to the menu. Let's change those settings, because I guess now we can't hear anything, can we? I'm usually not big on music, so I don't care to have it very high. Um, do I volume 50? Who's softer sounds? Say 35%. I have headphones. Home the okay, home theater is an option or headphones. Those that's it. Enable audio in background. Alright, let's check out the visual guys. We're at full screen, 50 field of view. Didn't know if it dynamically update. Video quality set to custom. Uh show frames, V-Sync on, max 60. We are going to just get rid of load shadows. Like, right off the bat, shadows are always just a huge fucking problem. In any game. They just... Kills graphics cards. So, very high. 
Very high. Very high. I will always trade uh, everything else on high for shadows being on low. Water Even water detail. Okay, preferences, language filter off, bandwidth mode. Go ahead and say high bandwidth. We'll take up the whole house's internet. Opt out of analytic reporting. And there we go. Communication. Voice chat. Disabled. I don't want to hear everybody else talking shit and just... Yeah. You guys understand. Accessibility. It has a colorblindness, text size, text to speech. Oh shit. Text to speech volume. That's cool. That is cool. All right, chat. That is, that is really awesome. Accessibility options like that in an MMO. Hell yeah. A company map, journal, character settings, game menu. So, uh, all right. Whoa. Draw a weapon is X. Block is right click. Attack is left. That seems pretty straightforward. Dodge is space. Okay. And there's the uh, wham bam combo. Ah, uh, Captain Thorpe, you're fucked, dude. There is evil here. The priest called it corruption. I can feel it consuming me. I don't have much time. Take this. Keep it safe. It is a crucial key to defeating the veritable army of corruption marshalling here. You'll need help. There are other people on the island. They battled for ages against the tide of corruption. Find a settlement. Make allies. You must stop the corruption before it escapes and consumes everything. Deal! Unworn shield, two light rations, Captain Thorpe's book. Oh, that was... That was fast into the, uh... Okay, so our character... Makeup is on the left, and then our inventory is on the right. Um... Okay, now we got a shield. Equip the food. Food go... Okay, quick slots. Ah, I'm taking the book to... I am, apparently I'm not taking the book. Consuming food and drink restores health. Okay. Sprinting allows you to move faster. Well, which one's the stamina bar for sprint, though? Maybe there just isn't one for sprint. It'd be cool if there wasn't one for sprinting. Light attack, heavy attack. Oh, did that come back up? Block and dodge. Those are... It seems like... Uh, seem like they should be... Pretty, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh man, this is some serious skill reactive combat compared to other things I've played. Like, I don't know, EverQuest and WoW. So the fact that you actively... Kind of reminds me of Terra when I played Terra for a bit. Uh, I didn't play Terra too long, but it was, uh, it was something similar. Ooh, all right, he has a fast attack. And it's not like we're using our, uh, our big attack anyhow. Let's see what's over here, guys. Anything we can loot? Uh... Okay. This area is right now pretty much just uh, 
combat training simulator. Let's see if we can't get this guy with a big hit. Can we move while charging it up? No, we can't. Nope. Okay, you can trade blows with an enemy. That's kind of cool. Alright. Shift plus du- Okay. Uh, reduce your nameplate visibility to others. So crouching hides your nameplate as well. That's... That's pretty cool. Get to higher ground. Block breaking. Disrupt enemy blocks with heavy attacks. Hold longer increases the attack's damage. All right. Straight Sword Mastery 2. Purchase upgrades. One-handed, a medium reach melee weapon that utilizes a combination of arcing swings and lunges on the sword to view the mastery tree uh, okay uh choose an ability we've got sword and board here guys sword and board shield bash a shield attack that bashes targets and applies the stun status effect for two seconds always a fan of stun i played a uh world of warcraft rogue so i mean since like vanilla so yeah i'm one of those guys a sword a spinning attack that hits all nearby targets in a 360 degree area around the planet but i i'm I think if we have multiple enemies on us, we're kind of boned to begin with. Uh, while I would love to go with an offensive ability, I actually think we're going to go with the shield right now. And, uh... Alright, it's in our... It's in our Q quick slot. Weapons mastery. Close the screen. Okay, so we got Q, R, and F as uh, quick slots. Auto run allows you to sprint and traverse obstacles automatically. That's uh, equal. Oh, and you can just hold the direction. Shit, that's nice. Look at that, chat. I'm not, uh, I'm only moving the mouse. That's it. Oh, auto run is so good. I wonder if they'll have in the future where you can put a destination and auto run to it. On. Just a second here, chat. Wow. That's uh, a hell of a view out there, ain't it? Damn. Okay. All right. Back to the game. <laughs> uh... Just auto run. Keep hoofing it, I guess, until we, uh. Well, until something happens. Send into the grotto. All I gotta say is, our guy is barefoot right now. This has to suck for it. Hello. I, yeah, I had a feeling that's what it was gonna be. Oh, okay. Oh, it's our old friend Cap. Oh, shit. All right, Captain Thorpe here took the, uh, took the whirlwind ability, apparently. Okay. Okay. I'm reading you. That, uh... Woo. 
I don't have much stamina, or I do have stamina to block with, all right. Dude's got lasers. I blame you for this blue mage. I want you to know that. Okay, I'm here, but why am I here? Go to the watchtower mark on your map. The M map? Too easy. Alright. Map has a... Place waypoint. I don't think... Okay. Go to the watchtower then. Just to auto run because I'm lazy. Uh, talk to Watcher Lynch. Sounds like a thing we can do. Is this Watcher L This is, in fact, Watcher Lynch. Oh, this is a surprise. Don't see many of the living washing up on the beach. Were you caught out in that strange red storm earlier? Seems the numbers of the drowned will increase yet again. Looks like you've lost everything but your blade and that box there. Here, I have a spare set of boots. Let me fit you. I always feel better about facing the day with my boots on. All right, we got boots finally. So, hell yeah. He did ask for the laser upgrade. That's fair. He, d he did. He did. He did. I would not normally ask something from someone freshly crawled from the surf like you, but I need backup. You have a blade and you do not look useless. So you have just been recruited. Those undying bastards have started to push up the beach and my duty is to push them back. While I take care of them here, I need you to clear out the next wave round Dukin's docket. Here, a market on your map. Be cautious with the drowned. They may be sluggish, but I have seen them band together and tear apart plenty of overconfident fools. We're an overconfident fool! Uh, okay, we got a thing. Increases damage of all ranged weapons and some melee weapons. Increases damage of most melee weapons. Increases damage of magical attacks. Increases mana regeneration. Increases maximum health. Ooh, boy, guys. What do we want to be? Do we want to be, uh, do we want to be a sword and boardy? Do we want to be a hammer, a uh, hammer bro? Do we, you know, what do we want to do? Let's, let's get dressed. Uh... Tattered pants are well enough. Tattered shirt. We've, we've already got those, so that's fine. Okay, investigate the shipwreck. Kill the drowned that it gathered. Uh, is this the... Okay. Oh, and it shows it on the compass up at the top. Nice. Go with that. And I know we haven't spent our skill point yet. Voice chat disabled. Okay. B is the, uh... But I don't, I don't know what I want to do yet, either. Oh. We'll just... Pick some resources up here, I suppose. Do we want to be casty? Do we want to? Do we want to use a blunderbuss? Duncan's docket, kill the drowned that have gathered. We can do that. I honestly think like rolling up on him just confused him. Let's see if it works here. Not as much. I, I I might have deserved a bit of that. But just a little bit. Magic! Oh! No, you don't. Okay. Talk to Watcher Lynch again. Mm, 
sure. It is again in beta, guys, so... Kind of feeling like we should be a ranged guy. Uh, well done, recruit. No, I did not follow you, but you can always tell when one of the drowned has been brought down, the smell of ocean water and rotting fish. It's nice to have another strong arm on this godforsaken island. We can certainly use it. That's us! Level 3, purchase upgrades with K. Now that we have a bit of breathing room, I can introduce myself properly. I'm Watcher Lynch. My job is to keep those drowned wretches at bay. Make sure they do not make it all the way to the sediment. And if I'm lucky like today, I get to meet the rare few who survived the trip through the storms. Help them get back on their feet. K again. First though, tools. You never want to be without tools here on Eternum, especially not a skinning knife. Go and collect some flint, we already did, from the beach nearby, and wood. And uh, then make use of my fire to make a flint skinning knife. We can do that. Okay, for the upgrades, we got to... Um, hey, Heartsies, welcome to the channel. How you doing? Good to see you. Guys, what do we want to do? Do we want to be do we want to be a, a blasty boy? Do we want to be ranged? Uh, do we want to be sword and board? Big ass hammer? What are we thinking? Right now, I'm thinking about using a uh, a flintlock. <laughs> You're lurking while dying in DBD. Okay. And we don't have a flintlock yet, so K's for the upgrades. Let's uh, see what we can do about this. So is this, this, oh, okay, so this is our, will be our bag. Then we got a long, worn long sword, two of them. We have a bow, but we don't have any arrows, right? We're going to need arrows, I'm sure. So equipping that right now is dumb. There we go. Okay. Got some flint. We need some wood. So let's go to a tree. Requires an axe. I mean, that makes sense. Don't have one. Come on, guys. You're giving me a hard time here. I take some of this wood off this ship. Leave you to deal with that. Here's the campfire, but we don't have any of the wood yet, right? Uh, we need one wood. Make the skinning knife. Maybe these... Maybe a bush? A bush gave us wood! Go sword and board. You heard hatchets are particularly good. Where were we? Yeah, skinning knife. Making one. Hey, that didn't take us forever. Hell yeah. I'm down for that. It's fine work there. You have a bit of an eye for this. Knowing how to make tools in the field is a useful skill to have. Once you get out into the wilds, there's no one to rely on but yourself. You have to make sure you will never be caught unprepared, because out here, unprepared is how you die. Remember that. Now, how about we test it out some boars around who have been causing problems? Yes, there came a point where I was going to stop doing the voice. We are there now. Apparently, we have to kill boars who are a million miles up here. We can auto-run it. 
Oh, we can zoom our camera in a bit. And out. Okay. More infestation. Yes, I, I know we haven't spent our upgrades yet. Getting all kinds of wood right now. Some more! I like the sound engineering so far on the game. Took a light ration with the from the health recovery category at Watcher Lincoln's campfire. I'm going to uh, gather one or two more things. See if we can't maybe make some other tools as well. Oh shit! Look at that, guys. Bottom right hand corner. Uh, I think, I don't quote me on this, but I think that's graphically telling us what our endurance is at, under tab. With the white bar. Super snake, okay. What's this? You'll find supply caches all over the island. Left behind or forgotten, who cares? Don't feel bad about taking anything you need. Just be quick about it. Trust me, the last thing you want. Soulless wretches get a drop on you while neck deep in your knapsack. Sanctuary. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Crafting from the health recovery, I think it was, is what we were doing. All right, that too easy. Complete quest. Level four, K for upgrades, which we still haven't done. We need to. Every ship to land on this shore, every soul sucked into the deep, such a waste. Life snuffed out like a candle. Rumors of this place in the old world made it sound like paradise. But no. It's the other prettier face. I will not give up my fight easily and do not think you will either. I've seen those shipwrecks in the shallows. These drowned have kept me busy here, so I have not yet searched them. Go and take a look. Try to find anything that could help us stay alive. All right, let's go kill some, uh... Kill some drowned after we upgrade our pants here, maybe? Yeah, that's... be upgrading that. Active tool. All right. This way. Keep gathering up a little bit of that stuff. Uh, 
These look like just the rudimentary introductory and crafting reagents, so better to have those now. Search the crates near Kane's Knot. Okay. Well, that let him know we were, uh, busy. I feel very roguish doing that. Uh-oh. Oh, that was nice. It hit both of them. So that's something to keep in mind. We got a Warhammer, 13 iron cartridges. What else do we get? Okay. Warhammer's a bit slow, but holy crap. All right. Warhammer's no fucking joke, guys. Damn. Gambler's dice and sandpaper. Okay. I, I, we already checked that cash. That's right. If you want to play Thor, you get yourself one of these Warhammers. Holy shit. Oh, dude, you did not just. Now, you go ahead and take these guys back, man. They're yours. Dropped items in Arcane Bottle. Yoink. That was more impressive than I thought it would be for sure. More arcane bottles. Yeah, guys, uh, the Warhammer is fucking doing it to it. More iron charges, more solvents. What, those, uh, those weren't the right crates? Okay, I guess we gotta go back over there. I might be in the wrong area. Go! There we go. Four of five now. Kill and search the drown near Blythe's Blunder. 
We need at least one more drowned. Let's get him. This guy looks like he's doing nothing today. Oh! That, that, that donk is just such a satisfying sound, guys. Which one's Bly's? Oh, Bly's Blunder is this way. Okay. So, Bly's Blunder must be, uh... Must be a little, uh... Bit towards... Um... Pirates of Dark Water. You guys remember Captain Blythe? Anybody out there old enough to, uh, remember Pirates of Dark Water to begin with? Was it Bloth? Okay, it was Bloth. Well, close. Yeah, we are going to have to heal up soon, but, uh, right now, just... Can we get XP from killing other people's stuff? Yes. So helping people is valuable. When it when, uh, can only attack, yeah, when flagged for PvP. Yeah, I'm not gonna flag for PvP anytime soon. I already see people bitching about level 30s killing them, and it's like, yeah, you, uh. Oh, this, this, this is gonna be bad. Oh, okay. We can eat on the run. Let go. Oh. Of course. There we go. All right. Did the quartermaster drop anything? No? Well, I guess this is no longer guarded. Yoink. Ooh, hell yeah. All right. Soldier's boots in here. Give me the boots. Oh! That is the opposite of what is good. So we, well, we just learned something there. Okay. Hold hard tack. Use one. Okay, so damage stops recovering, or uh, health stops recovering if you get damaged. Search the crate near Sal's schooner. Come on, tethering. So I see the training, getting trained, like, back in, uh, back in EverQuest is apparently a thing. But I have no idea if there's a tether. We're gonna find out. No, guys, right now, right now, I'm really feeling a two-hander. And we ha obviously we haven't spent any points towards her. Yep. That'll teach you. 
I'm doing a little, uh, doing a little jive there while opening the crate. A life staff. Phase cauldron. Are we a caster now? Okay, so running plus shift plus tab and you can actually jump. Hammer down. Second weapon slot. Nice. Very Pirates of the Caribbean in this area. Yeah, so far it really is. shield, old hard tack, more iron charges. The iron charges will be good when we finally, uh, if we, if we get a gun. I wonder, one, I wonder if there's pistols, and two, if there are pistols, I wonder if you can use a pistol with a shield. Whether I... Okay, so that's a lore thing. More solvent. You're welcome, friend. Uh, we get another Warhammer. Huh, okay. I've seen that the drowned carrying ironbound cast toward Tide Swallow Cave nearby, but thought it was just a reflex. A memory. If that is true, when they find a way to harness the Azoth magic, we could all be in danger. Please, would you investigate? Hell yeah! That's what we're here for. Let's do that. We now have a mana bar. But do we have mana abilities? No, we don't. Flint arrow, iron arrow, cartridges. Okay, we still look good uh, to go, I suppose. Let's uh, let's get out there and smash some skulls. Actually, let's. <laughs> uh... Let's get this done. We got a Warhammer here. Ooh, shit. Muskets, Life Staff, Fire Staff. Hatchet. We got, we got two points available. Can we go into bows? We cannot go into bows yet. Okay, can we go into muskets? No, we can't go into muskets. Can we go into magic? We have a Life Staff, but we cannot go into that yeah okay so let's see what we got here block breaker juggernaut or crowd crusher shit i like the sound of both of these i don't give a grit increases grit damage done by all war hammer attacks by 20 i don't know what that is what is grit hammer time increases siege damage it sounds like uh attacking objects Resilience, clear out, step, a stepping wide swinging that knocks enemies back and away to create distance, or fortitude. Not sure I like either of those guys. 
Okay, so I still have to I still have to spend it in the two-hander, regardless of where it's equipped on the character sheet. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll use block breaker then. Which will let us use, what, Dwindled Defense now? Respec, okay, you can respec for free, that's awesome. So we're becoming a Juggernaut right now, I suppose. Buddy, try me. Oh yeah, I need to spend my stat points. <laughs> Might be that, too. Let's spend some stat points, guys. Uh, we got four. We could just dump it all in strength or con. Oh, hell yeah. I love the preview to the side. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so dexterity will improve my longsword. But not my Warhammer. I mean, that makes sense, right? Eh, we'll do that at a safe place. Fuck that. Yeah, strength. Raw strength appears to be the most... Im nice little crafting fires out here in the wilderness. Okay. So, like, my constitution is six for some reason already. I don't know why. We would gain we would go we would gain three hundred hit points from increasing con. That's a pretty sturdy jump actually, from what we're currently at. A five ninety nine to eight ninety nine. Focus would do nothing for us, except for cooldown reduction. Uh, Dexterity is sword and board, and even then, if we if we pump Dex. It barely enhances our one-hander. But if we pump strength... You know, we jump nearly 20 points on the two-hander per hit. We're going to do that right now. Were you to play this game, you'd likely get the pistols as soon as possible and focus on ranged. Pistol sword, if feasible. Yeah, I mean, once we get, like, an actual ranged weapon, I'm definitely going to try it out. I'm just, you know... Woo! Alright, that was good. 12 second cooldown for that. But yeah, we just putting in like strength right now for this bit. All right, we're here. Search the crates in the Tide Swallow Cave. That'll teach you. Okay. <laughs> well, we tried to help and we missed. The lesson here, chat. Never try. Oh, hey, buddy. All right, yeah, that, uh, knocked the shit out of that quartermaster. Not bad. Not bad. 
Your playstyle is always gravitated towards dexterous characters that do ranged weapons and magic. Okay, nothing wrong with that. That's that's absolutely legit. Everybody's got uh, a different style. I honestly, when it round first mate, when it comes to MMOs, I don't know, man. I usually do a rogue. I usually do some rogue type, honestly. Um, gotta find. Oh yeah, we got some ducats off that guy. And he gave us a Warhammer. Thank you very much, sir. Any better than the one we got? No? How about those uh, pants? Hell yeah. Quip load is now normal. Good! Or what, were we getting encumbered? 83 out of 200? Must be a life mage, I guess. Either range magic or quick dual wielding. Yeah, I mostly, like I said, I mostly play a rogue, personally. But it's, uh... I suppose it's all dependent, because in the end, I'll play any kind of character, really. Okay, so note to self, use the block breaker after you've already broken a block, and it does a lot of damage. So, just charge up and break the block first, then use it. Makes perfect sense, right? Donk. And a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to say something here that's a bit controversial, I'm sure. I am happy that there's no... Nothing that tells you the radius of your attack. Uh oh Two quartermasters? Hell yeah, this isn't going to go bad. We did it, chat! We big damn heroes. Old pirate boatswain shirt. We got us a cool new shirt. We got us a green! Horticulturalist, horticulturalist shirt. Clothing for someone with a true devotion to all things that grow in the ground. Bonuses, botanist luck. 2% chance of getting rare items when harvesting. Yeah, buddy. We got us an uncommon. We we big time now. Did you hear what I said? Time to get out of here. Get out of my garden. I said, excuse me. So I don't know about grouping or anything right now, but I would, I will say this grouping, like starting this game with friends or whatnot, even if you can't form a group or party yet, I don't know if we can, honestly, but doing this with friends, uh, especially with voice chat would make it just so much better than it already is. And I hate grinding, but I'm not complaining about how we're leveling so far. You know, this is... This is formulaic new MMO. Every MMO levels you like this, pretty much. You know, I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. But I would say that uh, having friends to play with, even through the starting thing, uh, would definitely make, uh, uh, make a nice uh, enhancement. Uh, we are level six right now, and it is, it, so far it's been interesting and fun, but uh, of course, again, that's just level six, so. 
It's very pretty. You'll have to go back and watch the stream. <laughs> so Ellie's asking me about it. Yes, uh, I'm at work right now and... <laughs> Got a duelist shirt, but that's not a... Uh... Oh, hi, baby. A wild Ellie has appeared. I have recovered the cask, but they are more... No more than a drop of Azoth left between them. We got a logging axe and a doula shirt, which I'm sure the doula shirt is probably not as good as our horticulturalist shirt, which uh, is our current pride and joy can dye it that's cool that's what we look that's what we're looking like right now guys right there that's us all right somebody got it somebody in chat got an ancient hatchet what's that look like Ooh. Okay. That's cool. So where were we going? We're going somewhere. We, uh, we were talking to dude and he sent us yonder. My dude is uh, Magistrate Bond must be informed of these events. Bond, Magistrate Bond, James Bond. Be certain to stay on the path when traveling to the settlement. Many of the things that skulk in the brush are not the most friendly. Mm, you say that. We got more upgrades, don't we, guys? We got at least one point. We're going to put that in the health. Because it's going to come where uh, we start getting our asses kicked. <laughs> right? where, the, where the boost of the hammer aren't going to do it. And one hit, two of us will take us out. Hey, somebody uh, in the game chat says, Hated this game by the end of their first day. And they're on day three and loving it. So that's pretty cool. That's good. I guess somebody got over the hump. Then, whatever it may be. So far, I'm going to be honest with you, chat. We are, uh, again, six, six levels in. We just kind of cleared the newbie, the most newbie starting zone. I'm sure we're still in a starting zone, right? But we're already six levels in and not trying to rush it or anything. So there's been some uh, decent progression. We've got a, a lot of different kinds of loot, which has been really nice so far. Pick up a few more things to make a few more tools. And, uh... I don't hate it. Like I have said before, though, definitely could see uh, playing this with friends. You know, that, that'll, make a, that'll make a major thing for it. Is to play the game with friends. I... Uh, too early to call it on this, but I'm not sure if I would play it if uh, if people I knew weren't playing it, you know? We'll see, though. Don't think you care for how long it takes to skin a beast? Well, did you see how that, uh... Let's kill this blackboard. Did you see how we upgraded that skill? When we, well, when we did it last time, we got a skill uh, skill upgrade or made it better or something. So there might be progression to gather faster. Take all view contents. Oh, for okay, for doing it, we got a random pouch. That's that's actually pretty nice. Like you're out there gathering and you got a chance to get other stuff. Like we pulled flint arrows off that off that pig. So, no, I like that. Hey, it's just... Hang on. It's just like uh, the shirt said. 2% chance of getting rarer items when harvesting. So, that wasn't harvesting. I don't believe. That uh, was skinning. But that's... Okay, that's a turkey. And we are going to get that... <laughs> we were going to get that turkey. <laughs> that turkey just got got. Get out. 
So if you can get rare stuff from harvesting, that's a, that's a nice thing that like, wow, never did. And yes, I am going to keep comparing this to World of Warcraft. And probably at times EverQuest with like the training that happened to us earlier. We're staying in the high 50s so far in the frames, too. Are we even going the right way anymore? They said stay on the path, but now we're coming down here. Talk to Magistrate Bond. Is this where Magistrate Bond is supposed to be? Oh, no, okay, okay. First Light Hamlet. Cool. There's a question mark over here. And you guys know as well as I do that we got to find out what that is. Full Moon Den. These guys are level 11. This, this doesn't bode well for us guys. We're level 6. level six wolves okay now let's do it what you got for me werewolves come on all right you go after the stone i'll just be over here getting the rest of it all right guys we got a hatchet Ooh, those are supposed to be really good for one-handers maybe it's time we uh swap back real quick the sword and board and try out the hatchet all kinds of arrows and sandpaper and explorer's gloves this is a nice little den it's uh got a pair of gloves now i think we're good on everything else we we don't have a fancy hat or anything yet Wanna, um, where's our hatchet? There we go. Gear score, 211 over the Worn Longsword. I guess that guy's PvP marked. Yes, level 31 PvP. All right. So can we not use a shield at the same time? If we try and block. No? But yeah. Okay, a hatchet looks like it's just pure DPS, guys. So no hatchet, no shield. At least right now, there might be a talent or something in the future. You know, we don't we don't know. Uh, what can we make? What should we make? What should we make? We can we can make some something of everything. I think we'll wait on the gathering at the moment. We already got a lot of stuff. If if something's shown to be a priority for us to pick up, like mining or wood cutting or something, then you know, then we'll make the tools for it. We're over halfway to encumbrance right now. Oh, dude just chopped down that tree. Hell yeah. All right, now we're getting the frames drops. Tier 3 campfire. Yeah, now we're getting into a settlement with a lot of people. Alright, we're, we're hovering around 50 frames right now, guys. 45. Oh, 
We've got everything on ultra right now. You know, everything as high as it can go. Plus, there might be some optimization. I can imagine driver optimizations will help a lot. We're at 40. This game still is, uh, like I've said before, in beta. So. Damn. That was a cool effect. Uh, let me introduce myself. Flint logging axe, okay? So I was missing one. I'm about a Captain Thorpe. He has not passed away. We didn't kill him. And as for that strange box of yours, let me investigate it a bit. Sure. Now to keep you from rallying through the settlement, your first stop should be Trader Bajayan. At the trading post right behind me, she'll be your connection to what we call an economy on the island. To Bajayan! Buy the stuff I don't want. Uh, I can still smell the fresh salt on your clothes. Yep, yep. First light. Newcomer. Okay. To begin, this is a trading post. Worn traveler satchel. Trading post for yourself. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Jion is the trader, but he is not the guy who trades. Got it. Free honey! Give me them ducats. Uh, buy, sell my order. So, it's, yeah, it's an AH. How much money do we have? We have 169. What would this look like? Does it tell us? Does, can you preview it in any fashion? What about control? Now it's plus 25 gold. 25 gold for what might be a tricorn hat. I think we'll pass. I talk to Zion again. On a term, you just have an array of valuable items. I'd like you in your buy and request room. Once you have a room, you'll have the ability to return to the settlement at will from anywhere on the island. Storage sheds. Okay. What is the Worn Traveler's Satchel? There we go. Improves our uh, improves our encumbrance. So hell yeah, we'll take that. Um, more upgrades available, including weapon masteries. And it look hey, we're free to choose. What about hatchet. Okay, we uh, we are we had an illusion of freedom. Much like in real life. Can I buy an vowel? No. Nope. Nope. The hell am I supposed to put this point in then? Back into one handers? No points of it. Ow, oh, attributes. I'm on the wrong on the wrong one, guys. So that's on me. Strength 10 or con 7? I like even numbers. We'll go to strength 10. 
and uh, see what happens there for now. All right, let's get us a room from Dude. Dudette. Uh, would you like to check in, respawn at the settlement? Yes, I would. Hello. Respawn point activated. First light now. Your recall point. Upgrade available. Territory standings? Increased gathering speed. Decreased... Uh, okay. We are a faster gatherer. So there, there's something towards your gathering speed right there, Blue Mage. Okay, we did that. Now let's find the uh, storage monger. Ah, shit. I hope, I hope it's not shared, though, in any fashion. We really need to sell these is what we need to do. Can we do anything with this stuff? Store, equip, salvage. Oh, hell, we can salvage gear we have on us. Let's give that a try. No, didn't, no, no, not drop. We want to salvage. S plus click. Okay. More lore. Adjudicator Jeffrey. Look at this dude. Yeah, we'll be back with you, Jeff. Talk to Trader Vijay again? Why are we going back? Having that room in the end will serve you well in the future, particularly if you find yourself at a great distance from here. Keep in mind, you may only have a room registered to you in one settlement. Make sure there's enough space for others. As far as your items in the storage shed, keep a close eye on them. While everything you place inside is safe and secure, there's a limit, right? More importantly, what you leave here can obviously only be retrieved from here. So, you, okay. To keep an array of supplies stored in each settlement you reach to ensure you'll always have the basic available if you encounter a pro Okay, okay, makes sense. Uh, flint mining pick. The economy though may still be young, but over time it will blossom. Overseer Oaks may be the person for you to speak with. She's interesting. She has a harder time than most here, and you won't be able to tell it. Even with her behavior, she has been an asset to the settlement. Well, uh, she sounds like a very cheery individual, chat. I look forward to, uh, Whatever this is going to be. Something I, something I can gather over here. Cut the street down. Down project board. Hunt elk. Hunt three elk. Supplies needed. Fire and deliver. Hunt rabbit. Stuff. Oh, shit. This is cool. You upgrade by upgrade your settlement by open public quests. <laughs> that's uh that's cool.
Hi, hello, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. I'm overseer Tabitha Oaks. It's a pleasure to meet you. I take care of all the jobs here. Blah, blah, blah. Governor. So I just arrived. What do you think of the settlement? Armor case. If you can get the raw materials, I can show you how to refine them into even better materials. Then even better. I'll show you how to contribute them to the project here at the settlement. Stone comes from big boulders, wood, yep. And rawhide from... Okay, so... Ooh, we got a lot of gathering to do, apparently. Another upgrade available. Territory standing, first light. New upgrade, guys. Station fee. Decreased crafting fee by 5%. Crafting. Earn 5% more XP gain while in first light. Earn 5% more faction tokens. We're going to go with the XP gain. Now, I'm not... I'm not doing this playthrough to, to power run or anything like that or power level but uh come on guys when you see the xp gain you take the xp gain right mine stone from boulders skim boars we already got that gather wood from bushes or trees Oh, shit. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have to independently equip them. We can just... We can just use them. So that's great for crafting and things like that. So. Just AFK real quick, one second guys, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for your patience. We uh, had to make a phone call real quick. 
I plan on this being a short stream today anyhow because I've got there's some medical stuff that uh, I have to do some running I'll be out of town etc I gotta go spend the night someplace else so I want I have no idea why we just leveled or just got an upgrade available sure Let's start going towards dexterity so we can use some ranged weapons. So that's weird as hell. But, long story short, guys, it was always going to be a short stream today and a little bit of an introduction into this game. I will be streaming more of this because the beta goes on through uh, early September. So I'll be streaming some more of this. Uh, initial thoughts, guys. It's fun. Um... It hasn't done anything unique yet. And I do hate to say that. But again, it's only eight levels in. And the eight levels have been in an hour and 30 minutes. So we're leveling kind of quick here, I suppose, in the early part. And uh, yeah. We're back up to 60 frames out here. It's a beautiful game. The audio engineering is amazing. Can you guys hear the birds chirping right now? Or me moving through the grass onto the dirt? Can you guys hear that well? That's just... That's just really nice. That's really good sound engineering. Okay, guys, so for right now, we're going to call it uh, the stream here. I got to start getting ready for, well, what's going to end up being a busy night and busy morning tomorrow. But I want to thank everybody for joining me. I won't play this without you guys. We'll stream it again very soon. So I want to thank my followers, my lurkers, my subscribers, my moderators. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thanks for joining me during the uh, little preview of this game, guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a... Uh, a stream of currently unknown uh, makeup. <laughs> so not sure what game we'll be playing. Uh, we might do might do community game night tomorrow. So that's been a big one and been often requested. We'll check on that. Not saying it's for sure yet, but you never know. Uh, aside from that, guys, again, be good to yourselves and each other. Thanks for joining me for this little stream, and I will catch you guys next time. Until then.